The TV world is rapidly growing, and if you're somebody who's looking to ditch the cable, there are plenty of options. First and foremost, you can use an antenna. Sure, you're probably thinking of antennas like this one from the good old days, but they have come a long way. Not only is it a low-cost option, with some starting at $25, but there's no subscription fee, and it broadcasts your favorite local programming in HD. If you're looking to enjoy even more channels, your next option is to stream. It is a technology that lets you watch all your favorite TV shows, movies, sports, among other things, virtually anytime and anywhere on most devices like a cell phone, iPad, or even TV screen. All you need is an internet connection. This way of tuning in is growing in popularity. Last year, almost two million people streamed as a cable replacement. So what do you need to do? If you've recently bought a TV, it's probably a smart TV, which can stream video right out of the box. If not, you'll have to buy a streaming device like a Roku, Fire Stick, or Apple TV. Costing anywhere from $30 to $200 plus, these TV plugins have streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime loaded on them and display them like the apps on your cell phone. Those streaming services like Netflix and Hulu let you choose what you want to play back and watch. They all come with a monthly fee, typically between $8 to $12, but not all services are the same. <laughs> For example, if you want to watch Elaine's famous dance moves on Seinfeld, you'll only be able to do that on Hulu. Fancy Moses. But if you want to watch Ross and Rachel argue if they were on a break or not, Friends is exclusive to Netflix. With you, we are so over. Fine by me! What you watch on those services also aren't played live, meaning new shows are available to watch the day after they air. With a monthly fee, though, starting between $25 to $40, services like DirecTV Now, Sling TV, YouTube TV, and Hulu with Live TV offer 50-plus channels that play in real time. Winter is here. And if your favorite show, like Game of Thrones, isn't offered, you can always add it for an extra cost. So where do we stand? Well, let's take a look. The most popular Cox Wi-Fi plan is about $85 a month. And then if you were to add a cable-like service like Sling TV for $25 a month, your total would come out to being about $110. Now compare that, though, to Cox's Wi-Fi and cable bundle of about 140-plus channels, which comes out to being more than $160. So definitely a savings there. For DirecTV Now, you can stream starting at $40 a month in addition to your monthly Wi-Fi fee. Or you can sign up for the DirecTV Wi-Fi and cable bundle for $118 a month. So again, another savings. And you can save even more money by using an antenna, which has no subscription fee, or by using a monthly streaming service like Netflix. But one of the biggest reasons people are hesitant to cut the cord is so they can watch sports. And, you know, we love our sports here in New Orleans. Saints games are easy to watch because whether you're streaming on a paid service or using an antenna, their games are broadcast on local channels. LSU, the Pelicans, and other teams, though, play on different, sometimes national networks like ESPN or Fox Sports. Adding those to a streaming service can be costly, which is why some experts say die-hard sports fans may want to just stick with their cable provider. Breaking it down, the savings are there, but it also depends on what you're interested in watching. Because for some TV fanatics, cutting the cord may mean cutting channels that you can't stream, but for others, it may be worth it, which is why it's important you do your research and see what's best for you. I'm Jay Cunningham for Eyewitness News.